baby this is a flawless finish welcome back to aria moore's makeup room where we learn and grow together and baby we are growing today's video i am going to be showing you how to achieve this beautiful flawless rose gold cut crease as well as a nice slick smooth foundation finish this video will be cut into two parts for your <laughs> retention <laughs> that way we're not taking it too far guys like share and subscribe and let's go ahead and get into the video we are going to start off by using juvia's palette this is the chocolate palette and i just love this for almost all of my looks here recently guys these are the colors that i will be using the two dark shades where they cut um the inner crease as well as that light brown to kind of blow everything out guys look at those brows baby everything is already prepped and ready to go and on fleek already and we haven't even started yet I immediately went straight in and started to build into that crease and just really get that nice chocolate color very dark very fine and pigmented I just love starting here before I blow everything out on any of my looks it just makes the process so much easier this is where detail starts to become really important we're gonna go into that lighter brown and really take our time and follow the outer line I am keeping my brush focused on the tip of the line itself because I don't want this look to be too blown out. I am going for a smaller eyelid look. So I'm focusing right there at the very, very tip where the darker shade, that very first shade that we put on stops. And then you can kind of see it starts to really blow itself out without it blown, being blown out too much. So I'm just taking my time, getting that harsh line to kind of blend together and become one. Now you can blend for however long you feel like fits you. I know everybody has their own style. Some people like that extra bold line look to show through. For this look, I just wanted to kind of look a little seamless and blend perfectly together now for my cut crease i am going to be using my flat brush as well as concealer i did start to kind of make a mess i guess somewhere down the line i accidentally touched my concealer when i was putting it on the brush but anyway that's neither here nor there i am going upwards guys i am trying to make this triangular shape um guys look at that it was all over my mouth but whatever I end up fixing it eventually but I'm going up as though I'm making a triangle and then kind of bringing it down creating the shape that I want so usually when we do a cut crease you know we do kind of like an oval for this look in particular that's not what I was going for I just wanted a little bit of dramatics on the eyelid so depending on how you do your cut crease it's basically just a guide for where you want to go moving forward and just to kind of clean everything up and make everything nice and smooth so yeah now i am going back into those two dark shades that we use in that first crease and i'm trying to blend everything in that way that cut crease does not look too harsh so that when i go in and apply my nice little press glitter everything is nice and smooth already and just good to go so this will be the very next step that you guys want to do if you choose to use these methods just to make everything flow nice and smooth and i'm attacking both eyes one thing i've noticed for myself being left-handed i do have a hard time and this is just in general matching up my eyes like i can never get the lines um even on each side the shapes are never the same however i just learned to kind of just pull it off and be confident in what kind of work i do and it's art so art is always whatever you want it to be now I am applying NYX glitter glue to my lash, oh, not my lashes, to my eyelids using a flat brush. This is so that the glitter can go ahead and stick. And then I'm going to be using this Ulta Rose Gold Palette. And y'all, I'm just going to be honest, I did not like it too much. And I was just over here like just digging for stuff. But there is the palette. Um, but it did work out for the look itself. But throughout the day, I noticed it started to crease, and that was just a huge disappointment for me. So I actually would not be using that anymore. That is the Ulta Rose Gold uh, glitter. This is like a pressed glitter, and I just, I just didn't like it. But for the look itself, it was bomb. It just didn't have all day wear like I would like for it to do. But you guys can see, I'm just going in and applying everything on, and boom. 
Here goes my NYX liner as well as my Juvia's liner. The NYX is in black and the Juvia's is in pink. Um, this was my first time actually using Juvia's liners and I really don't like to give bad reviews. However, I will say that her liner takes forever to dry in comparison to NYX. The colors that she has are very vibrant and beautiful. However, the drying time just takes forever. Maybe I need to purchase me like a little fan because I really do like the colors. So I'm going to play around with that a little bit longer before I say I don't like it. But if I do choose to purchase like a fan and it still takes forever to dry, I probably will not recommend using her products. But right now I cannot say yay or nay. But with the black liner is the first thing that I use and I went in to do like a little very thin wing. I did not want a super bold wing. My eyelids are very small. I have a lot of creases. So it does not make sense for me as of right now to do like very um, bold liner wings. But then I went over the top with that pink. Look how beautiful that pink is. I was just like, oh my God, I love it. And the point on her tips are very pointy, which I actually love as well. Only complaint I have is I just didn't like the drying time. Like, I just don't like to sit there with my eyes closed forever waiting on it to dry. I need to move on, baby. Okay. <laughs> let's dazzle this look with some cute little crystals i ordered these crystals off of amazon again these are not my favorite but i did order them off of amazon and it did achieve the look i'm going to be using some um the pink ones out of this i have pink blue yellow i have a lot of different colors in the crystals i'm also going to be using my eyelash glue which is what you guys see here i'm just placing my little dots and stuff letting that eyelash glue dry just a tad bit looking for my stuff per usual because i never know where my stuff is and i'm literally sitting in my vanity and still don't know where anything is but i'm going to use my little cute little pen hopefully you guys can see me oh i was in the camera good and i'm just going to stick on my little crystals and guys these crystals are super freaking cute the only issue i had with these crystals in particular is it did not have a flat back the flat back is what really helps it stay on and level. This one was actually in a diamond shape, so it stuck out a little bit more and it was more round on the bottom, which actually made it more complicated to get it to stick. However, it did not fall off um, throughout the day, but some of them did fall off before I even finished my makeup and I had to go back in and figure out how to apply them for all day wear. Now we are just getting these lashes on. I just had to use a mid um, size lash. That way I can kind of give my little look a little oomphy oomph, you know. And I just love it, guys. And I'm just tweaking everything, making sure everything's nice and pressed together because we do not want it to fly away. And that is it for today's look, guys. This is part one, all about the eyes, guys. Make sure you go and check out part two, which is already posted as well. So check out part one and part two, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Next part, we are going to show you how to achieve this nice, flawless face of mine, baby, because it is slayed to the gods. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you do decide to subscribe. If you don't subscribe, please at least like this video, leave a comment, or share share to someone one of your friends your family and let them know to join aria morris makeup room until next time guys bye